It's 14th China and 56th ranked Haiti in the Women's World Cup action when China and Haiti meet in Group D action Friday morning at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Now, I had a ton of views on the Haiti Women's World Cup preview, so I decided to add a little more for all of those fans of Les Grenadiers and also of the Steel Roses. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more soccer picks. Now let's look at the odds for this game. The odds for this game see China coming in as favorites at minus 160. The draw is plus 285, and Haiti are big underdogs at plus 425. Both teams lost their opening games, but both kept the results close, each losing just 1 0. China lost 1 0 to Denmark, and Haiti with an impressive only 1 0 loss to England. China still has. England to play, which they'll likely not be expecting to get many points from, while Haiti will have Denmark in their third game, which they'll also be long shots in to get any points. That makes this match very important for both of these teams in this tournament. A Chinese loss or even a draw basically dooms them to advance out of this group if you assume they're going to lose to England. Similarly, with Haiti, he, uh, a loss here and they'll need a win over Denmark to have any hopes of advancing and it would still be unlikely. A draw too would mean they need a win over Denmark to advance, but a win over China would mean a draw with Denmark would give them four points and a strong shot of advancing. Though that's still not a given against the 13th place Danes. Their performance versus England though will give them some hope of taking something from that game. With Denmark and England playing though before this game early Friday morning, all of those permutations could still change. We've seen a lot of teams, some teams in this tournament, lose their opening games and fail to even record a shot or even a shot on target, and some finish with 0.0 XG. But both of these teams, while they were outplayed in their first games, they still at least created something. China had nine shots, two shots on target. Denmark also had two shots on target in that game, and they had four corners. They were minutes away from splitting the points with Denmark until an 89th minute winner by the Danes. Haiti, too, managed two shots on target of their seven shots that they created. They had three corners as well in the game. And while England had 75% possession, 21 shots, and 11 shots on target, their only goal came, a, came from a Georgia Stanway penalty in the 29th minute. Haitian goalkeeper Curly Theus made 11 saves and stood on her head to keep that game close. Both teams obviously lost the XG battle in their games, China 1.1 to 0.4 and Haiti 2.6 to 0.7, but they did at least create something. Let's look at some of the goal scoring props for this game if you think there will be some goals. Uh, China's Chen Chen Wang leads the goal scoring props at plus 180 odds. She had three shots, one shot on target, and 0.1 XG in her 45 minutes in game one. Teammate Jiang Lingyan had two shots, one shot on target, and 0.2 XG in 90 minutes. She's similarly priced at plus 185 to score. You have to go all the way down the list of goal scoring props to find the first Haitian player in the odds, and that player is Rosalord. Borgella at plus 400. She started up top for Haiti last game. In 77 minutes, Borgella created 0.3 of Haiti's 0.7 XG. She had three shots, but no shots on target. In just 13 minutes, teammate Rosaline Epolassant created 0.4 XG. She's plus 450 to score. She had two shots and one shot on target. Now, when it comes to the pick for this game, it just depends how this how these teams come out to play this game. Unders have been the popular play at the Women's World Cup so far at 13 and eight prior to Wednesday night. Under 2.5 is minus 150 odds in this game. So to both teams to score no, that's also been a very popular bet in the Women's World Cup. It's actually 19 and two in the tournament. Both teams to score no is minus 140. But we could see goals if both teams decide to go for it knowing they basically need a win in this game. Both teams to score is plus 120 at Bet365 and plus 105 at DraftKings. Basically, the only games we've seen with three or more goals in the Women's World Cup have come with one superior team dominating the other team and putting up a big scoreline and a big win. I wouldn't say either of these teams will fall into that category. So let's go with the trend here and go under 2.5 as the pick in this game at minus 150 odds. Be sure to give this video a like on your way out and good luck with all of your Women's World Cup picks this tournament.